Hello and welcome. This video is going to show you how to use Jamovi to uh, get all of the statistics you'll need to answer Activity 8.2. Of course, these same clicks will work in any uh, one-way ANOVA for any activity. So the first thing you're going to want to do is val um, create labels for your grouping variable so that you can understand the output more easily. So you're going to want to double click on group. And in this activity 8.3, um, the labels are three hours of sleep, six hours of sleep, and nine hours of sleep. Uh, okay. And then after you uh, do that those, that, those labels will show up over there. Press enter after each one of these and then close that. And now we're ready to analyze the data. So we want to go ANOVA. Even though we're doing a one-way ANOVA, we want to go to the ANOVA tab, not the one-way. We get a little bit different uh, information and this, is, this provides all the information that we need. So let's do it this one. Factor. Uh, the fixed factor box is the one that holds your groups. So we want to put our group variable there and our dependent variable. In this case, we're measuring calories consumed. That's what we're measuring. Dependent variable goes there. Then you can see you get your p-value and all, all, that, all the other statistics like the f. Um, you want to get the effect size for the overall omnibus f, and we want to use omega squared, so you'll click on that. Uh, this activity also asks you to check for the homogeneity of variance assumptions. So you could check on assumption checks and then check, uh, check on homogeneity test. And then it'll give you this Levine's p-value that we are aware of, how to interpret. The next thing you want to do is click on uh, post hoc tests. And the reason why we have to do that, of course, is this because this p-value is so crazy small. Click on that. We want to move group over here and we have to remember to um, here we're getting the post hoc test p values but these p values are the two key p values and we want the uh, lsd the fisher lsd p values so that's a no correction p value and so you want to click on that and then unclick two key and that'll give you the correct p values you do this whenever you have just three groups that you're comparing. If you're comparing four or more groups, then you would want to use the two key one. We want to get Cohen's D and we want to get the confidence level around Cohen's D. And you can see that we have that now. And then what we need to do is uh, click on estimates of margin, our estimated marginal means. And we want to move this group over to here, and that's giving us the graph that we're going to need. We're also going to need the tables for the marginal means, marginal mean tables. That's going to give us the mean differences, or excuse me, the means for each group that we need to uh, complete our summary of this when we write it up. The other thing that we need that is not provided for us is the standard deviation for each mean. And so in order to get those, these are the standard error of each, of each mean, and we don't want that. We want the standard deviation. So we have to get that by doing another little analysis. So we have to go up to Exploration, click on Descriptives, and we want to know the standard deviation for each group in terms of calories. Uh, but this is giving us the whole group, uh, or all three groups together. Uh, the mean of all three groups together is, is this mean and this standard deviation. We don't want that. Instead, we want to split it by group. So that I'll break it up by um, the three hour. Here's the mean for the three hour group, the six hour group, and the nine hour group. And then down here is the standard deviation for each of those groups. So I think that's all of the statistics you need um, to analyze and write up Activity 8.2. Uh, I hope the activity goes well for you.